Hi there, it's Tim from Oracle Base. This video demonstrates how to create an Oracle Linux virtual machine on Amazon Web Services. We start by clicking the EC2 link under the Compute section. Then click the Launch Instance button. Click on the Community AMIs tab and then search for Oracle Linux. When you've found the right AMI, click the Select button. Select the instance type for the performance you need and then click the Next button. Make any changes you need to the instance configuration and then click the Next button. Adjust the size and performance of the storage and add any extra volumes as required. Tagging allows you to associate name value pairs with a specific instance. Add any tags you think are relevant. By default, SSH is available from any source IP address. That's probably a bit silly for something real, but I'm going to leave it. I'm also going to add another custom port available from anywhere. If you're happy with the review information, click the Launch button. You'll be accessing the virtual machine using a key pair. If this is the first time you've done this on Amazon, download a new key pair using this screen. If not, select an existing one, then click the Launch Instances button. Click the View Instances button near the bottom of the screen. You'll see the new instance with an instance state of pending and a status of initializing. That'll then switch to running and initializing and eventually running with the status checks complete. With the instance running, we connect using the key to the ECT user. You can run root commands using sudo or do sudo su minus to switch to the root user. If you want to see an example of installing an Oracle database on a virtual machine like this, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Okay, okay. Okay. Go. And you get come on. I go. Okay. Dot com. You're beautiful. Again, again. Dot com. No, no, no. Wait. I, I go again. I go again. Dot com.